Do you know what really happened to Britain's Got Talents Jonathan and Charlotte? Recently Jonathan Antoine's devastating diagnosis after the ITV show and transformation. You didn't know everything, Jonathan Antoine is renowned as one of Britain's Got Talent's most famous contestants. The popular ITV program is returning to our screens for the 17th season tonight. Alicia Dixon, Amanda Holden, Simon Cowell and Bruno Tonioli are aiming to find the next big star to perform at the Royal Variety Show. Jonathan was one of the breakout stars of the show when he finished in second place on season 6 of the show, which was broadcast 12 years ago. Jonathan Antoine was just 17 when he appeared on BGT and finished in second place with his singing partner Charlotte Giaconelli, but what has he been up to since? Jonathan Antoine, famed for his stint on Britain's Got Talent, has been in the spotlight since his remarkable weight loss journey and recent diagnosis. The classical singer, who became a household name after appearing on the show, is back in the news as ITV gears up for the 17th season premiere of the beloved talent competition tonight. The judging panel, featuring Alicia Dixon, Amanda Holden, Simon Cowell, and newcomer Bruno Tonioli, is all set to uncover another gem who could dazzle at the Royal Variety Show. It's been over a decade since Jonathan, then just 17, captured the nation's heart with his partner Charlotte Giaconelli on the sixth season of Britain's Got Talent. Their stunning performance of The Prayer during the auditions earned them instant recognition, with Jonathan's voice drawing comparisons to none other than Luciano Pavarotti from Simon Cowell himself. Despite their sensational run on the show, Jonathan and Charlotte ultimately finished as runners-up, losing out to the charming dog act Ashley and Pudsey. Reflecting on the loss, Jonathan shared with the Mirror Online, I remember the feeling of the organ sinking. I didn't cry on stage. His candid admission reveals the depth of his disappointment at not clinching the top spot, as he added, You have to then think, with Ashley and Pudsey, their mission with animals, they'll probably do more responsible things with that than I ever would. Wonderful people as well. Just remembering everyone that comes above or below you is made of the same stuff. We're all flesh and blood and electricity coursing through them. That's how you stay not depressed. The runners-up spot seemed to kickstart Jonathan and Charlotte's career as they were snapped up for a £1 million contract with Simon's record label Psycho just days after the show wrapped up. The duo released their debut album together in September 2012 and their second album Perhaps Love in August 2013, but chose to part ways in February the following year after being offered solo record deals by Sony Classical. Simon had encouraged Jonathan to go solo during his time on Britain's Got Talent and Jonathan revealed this was always his ambition. He said, Charlotte raised up my confidence to the level I could go on BGT and we made something beautiful. And neither of us had been ensemble artists, we loved solo performances, so it was the natural evolution of the thing. There's only so much a crossover classical duo can actually do without starting to reinvent the whole thing. At the point I had the necessary confidence and understood myself a bit more I felt it was time to make the leap. Jonathan's solo career has been a roaring success, with his debut album, Tenore, hitting the top spot in the classical artist album chart and leading to tours in the UK and the US. Now 29, he regularly updates his fans via his Instagram channel. Earlier this month, on Autism Awareness Day, he took to Instagram to reveal that he was diagnosed with autism two years ago. He shared, I got my diagnosis in 2022, not long after my 27th birthday, and for a short while fell into it like a daydream. The recontextualization of a life already lived is a scary thing to reckon with, but those things done are already set, there is no going back from here. I still don't know what exactly I have to contribute to the broader discussion, I'm in the process of finding out what it all means to me in the first place, but perhaps the naiveties of that process are novel enough to write down, so I try regardless. All my love, as sincerely as it could be given. Speaking about his efforts to embrace a healthier lifestyle, Jonathan shared, I've still got a lot to lose but I'm making my way. I feel stronger and healthier than I have in 10 years, which is a lot. This year I've made an active choice. I felt I've lacked the discipline a lot. When I was out in America it's fast food everywhere. I was in a terrible state in the start of the year and I've been able to claw my way back doing light exercise. I'm a very big fella so heavy exercise would just tear me up. I'm working my way up, thinking about what I eat because that is important. Jonathan has committed to walking 10,000 steps daily, even if it means pacing around his room, and he believes he's finally embracing life. Reflecting on his journey, he shared, For a long time I was just experiencing life, letting life live me, trying to find the next pleasure. Taking control of your own life, seizing your world with your hands, is very gratifying. So dear viewers, please like this video and subscribe our channel, thanks for watching.